Hey Gemini, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of March 18th through the 24th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, we have the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like your intuition is speaking for you which I don't know if I've ever said that before, but it's that's what's coming through. I feel like this week, your gut feelings are going to be the primary push towards things. Kind of like you won't hesitate to go with what your gut is telling you, which I feel is a very good thing because that means you trust yourself, right? When we have a gut feeling, when we are having this, you know, moment of intuition and we're getting this sixth sense kind of feeling, when we just follow that and we don't think to ourselves, man, I wonder what that's about. Why am I feeling like this? That means you're aligned, right? When you just go straight to doing what that gut feeling is telling you, that's total, I mean, that's being one with the universe. And when you do it multiple times, one after another with no hesitation, no doubt, and first and foremost, no fear of what's going to happen, that means you're in, a, you're in the right place, right? That's proof you're exactly where you need to be. And I feel like this week for you, Gemini, you are, you're the epitome of that. Something so clear is, is happening here that is, you know, showing all of those signs. So it really is as simple as one, two, three. And, you know, I mentioned that also because the only numbers that I see here are one, two, and three, most of them being two. So for you, the angel number two, two, two could be very relevant, could resonate a lot, whether you're seeing it, whether it makes sense to you just as, you know, a number. Um, two, two, two is new beginnings. So a lot of you are not doubting your intuition about new beginnings and you are going for things and allowing that power to move you. So two here with the high priestess, two with the two of pentacles, two with the two of swords. Then we have the three with the three of wands and the one with the ace of cups. Simple as one, two, three. That's amazing because I really believe that when you listen to your intuition and you just go for things, it is very simple than when you are having to do the whole back and forth thing, right? So, wow, two of pentacles, two of swords. This is the energy that's transforming, right? You are pretty much kind of transferring the power from this indecisive, not really knowing what you're going to do or how you're going to do it to just going for it, making decisions. That's energy you're transmuting, Right? You're transforming it and turning something into something else with a certain, you know, confidence and, you know, power. Three of Wands, this is where it's leading you. The act of transferring power from one thing that doesn't serve you to something that does allows for expansion and that's what moves you forward. You're being propelled by your own faith. And you're being propelled by the decisions that you're making with that faith, right? You're making decisions that you're not questioning and they're leading you to exactly where you want to go, which ends up in, you know, the state of the Ace of Cups. This is love. This is divine connection. This is karmic, you know, justice. The Ace of Cups is whatever you want it to be, whether it's a relationship whether it's you achieving, you know, a milestone that you never thought you would, whether it's you feeling like yourself again after having gone through a difficult or traumatic experience that took you out of yourself for a while. The Ace of Cups, you determine what this is. The point is you're getting it. This is what you are walking yourself towards by your simple faith in yourself and the universe. But really, it starts with you. Wow. Wow. Okay, let's clarify. Let's clarify the three of wands. Six of wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. I honestly, I feel like the six of wands is what... It, it's what you have to look forward to, which basically 
is the ultimate success, the ultimate victory. And I feel like you've been on this path. You've been on this journey for a while and you've had your wins and you've had these accomplishments and achievements along the way and they all add up. But right now in this moment, I genuinely believe that for you, this is the ultimate victory because there's something about the way that things are going, Gemini, that is, there's no question that there was some sort of divine intervention, but the fact that you trusted it and you went through with that divine plan is what's leading you to this victory. So a lot of you may think, oh, well, I just then have to give thanks to the universe because it guided me in the right direction. Okay, I can do that. But what I'm saying is you trusted what the universe told you and that's what's leading to your success so the person or the thing the entity you have to thank is your intuition which means you you're the reason why this is happening your faith all right so we have the high priestess officially came out eight of pentacles temperance which is sagittarius some of you may have sagittarius placements or maybe this is divine intervention speaking for itself. It's kind of like the universe is saying, yeah, I, I helped you do that, but we did it together. It was divine. And when things are divine, they happen in ways that we don't even know how to describe. We don't, we don't know how to explain it. We just know that it happens and it happened in the time that it had to. And that's all that we have to care about. Your intuition is speaking for you. That's what I said at the beginning, but now I fully understand what that means i feel like the eight of pentacles is you just realizing yeah that works this works this is the secret to everything that i've ever wanted in my life you've discovered the ultimate secret which is leading you to the ultimate victory and i mean what more can we really say You've discovered the ultimate secret, which is trusting yourself in, in a way that leads you to never doubt your gut feeling ever again. And now all the cards have decided to make a life of their own. All right. Okay, let's clarify the Ace of Cups. wheel of fortune there it is only only more confirmation keeps coming through i feel like i feel like a lot of you are gonna see yourselves differently this week as well or you're already seeing yourselves differently and what what's also gonna change is what hasn't changed yet so for example let's say you're already starting to envision your life a certain way you can visualize things really imagine how they're gonna look like Things are going in your way. Things are happening in your favor. You're really trusting the universe. Whatever you couldn't see happening before all of this, you're seeing it this week. That's what I'm trying to say. Something is finally coming together and the pieces are adding up. To further clarify the Ace of Cups, we have the Eight of Wands, the Devil, which is Capricorn, and the Three of Cups. There's something that has been getting in the way of what you want most right? In the past, there was something that has been getting in the way that no longer will. So this devil is kind of saying sayonara, like I'm leaving, I'm exiting because I, I no longer have my place here. I, I can't do anything anymore. You've won. This devil, right? Whoever, whatever this is, that once was kind of victorious, it's saying goodbye because it can't compete with what you're doing with your life right now do you understand how crazy that is but like in the best way this eight of wands this is alignment with the universe this is universe saying it's me and you gemini right this is the universe saying i i am one with you you are one with me you're listening to what i have to say you're taking that and making things happen you're not doubting me you're not doubting yourself right? Because you're paying attention to that gut feeling. And then boom, here we are with the Ace of Cups. You're getting everything that you want. All right. I love this. Um, if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.